Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shweta and today we have a Nykaa haul. It's been six months since my last Nykaa haul video. Please go check out that video in case you want to see it because I was shopping from Nykaa after three years, you guys. I did a huge Nykaa haul. Just hit the i card right here. Now in this haul, it's a mix of things that I have bought with my own money and things that Nykaa keeps sending me some random stuff. So I'm going to be showing you, segregating what I bought with my own money. Let's get into the program don't forget to subscribe to the channel you guys just make sure before you you know go on so on and so forth of seeing what I'm about to show you right now see if that red button has been clicked all right so let's begin so the first one I picked up you guys is this blue heaven this is the jelly butter and it's got SPF 15 now you guys know on Instagram I have been doing this thing called makeup high-end alternatives that actually beats the high-end a dupe should be the exact same thing but an alternative is actually giving you an option b c like in case you don't have the budget to buy option a look at that look at that oh it's nice and glossy let me just swatch that for you can you see the gloss in that so this one i wanted to put this to a test because i do have the revlon's new that shiny lip balm so this is the revlon one let me just show you how shiny this one is it's got a nice balmy light texture and this is actually the perfect dupe for the Makeup Mario one because of that high shine. Now this is in the shade Brilliance. It does not have any undertone to it. So this is great to just apply that with your other lipsticks. And this is the Blue Haven one. Nice tone to it. It's not as shiny as this, but boy is this comfortable. And look at that color. This particular color is called Dusty Rose and it's so pretty. It adds that right hint of a nude color to it and it's not too shiny but beautifully hydrating and balmy. And I heard so much about this Blue Heaven uh, one but not bad. How much is this one for? I think this one retailed for 200 rupees. Guys, I really, really like it. You know, if you want something that will just hydrate your lips, especially when you're stepping out everyday use, this is a good option. So yeah, that is the first one. The second one is the Dermaco Hyaluronic Acid Ceramide UV Broad Spectrum SPF 60 Sunscreen Stick. Now look at this. I think I found a great alternative to it. Let me just apply the Sun Project one. I just wanted to show you how it leaves no white cast, yeah? Just applying it that much is not enough. You have to go extra with the sunscreen stick. So that is why this is not something that I will rely on as my first application. Maybe the second application, you know, I'll rely on that. And this is not how it applies, okay? This is Nirvana's doing. As you can see, she went and jammed it somewhere. But for reapplication purposes, I feel these sunscreen sticks are amazing. And especially this is my all-time favorite. It is just beyond brilliant, this one. So let's put this to a test. As you can see, this turns into a nice non-dewy finish and this has got a slight dewiness to it. It's not as oily as the minimalist one, I have to say. No white cast and this goes with a little more ease than this one. It's great for people with oily skin for our Indian weather, but it does a little bit drag and this has got a nice smoothness and it just goes very well, but it definitely leaves a dewy finish to it. And can you see this? No dewiness to it. It's not too oily. Over and above this, you can just mattify. Let's put some powder over and above this. No oily residue. I prefer this to the minimalist one. Absolutely love it. I am shook. A good alternative to this viral product so yeah excited so glad I picked this one up the next purchase that I made is this insight uh, cosmetics uh, this is the HD concealer now I know so many of my favorite content creators on Instagram have been talking about this and I was like okay let me try this one out but the shade that I got is MN30 and I'm gonna pick a shade you know that I think it will be 25 this is a tad bit too dark for my skin tone you know review purposes I have tried this and I have to tell you that this one is full coverage baby they are not joking this is like complete full coverage one it's got a beautiful doe foot applicator as you can see look at that shade it's just not my match right now I'll show you how it is so I'm just gonna put a little bit right here it's a tad bit dark 
it leaves like an orange tint you have to go on with it immediately because this has a tendency of drying down wow look at that it can be a good color corrector actually because on top of this i'll try to put brightening concealer which i'll show you the next concealer that i bought this is too dark i need some a shade lighter than this but it is phenomenal coverage and this is not meant for dry skin because it's so matte it's great for people with combination oily extremely oily skin you've got a fabulous concealer oh, it's only for 230 rupees you guys you're getting a full-size version of it so i usually do not not buy a lot of things right now i have reduced my shopping at nika because it's so hard to test everything and finish everything so i don't want to the reason i did this haul was only because i was unwell the last two weeks i had covid i'm recovering from that and while you're at home doing absolutely nothing and just lying on bed and you're like okay let's go to nika let's go and shop some clothes so that's what it is so i've got some clothes as well which i can show you a clothing haul if you want me to do and i'll do it for you but yeah inside cosmetics definitely is something which i have tested before if you've got dry skin mix it up with uh, something very hydrating and you can just somehow make this one work so yeah definite definite yes for me a big hit all right the next one that i picked up is this one this is the wet and wild color icon in nude awakening now the reason i picked this one up is only because so many people in the uk and us absolutely love this particular eyeshadow palette such a beautiful color story out here a bit of warm tones a bit of cool tones then this is the one for you the reason i did my first makeup alternative video and i know it did so well on instagram it also did very well on, over here on youtube shots i compared this to the makeup mario one this is the makeup Makeup Mario's ethereal palette which went viral. No one has made an eyeshadow palette with neutral tones and shimmer shades. Look at the color story out here. This is such a beautiful palette that I have ever seen. Let me just swatch these two shades for you. So this is like the shimmer shade and this is the matte shade. It is pigmented. Look at that color story. Isn't this the same color story? In fact in this you're getting a reddish brown and a black color that will really complement our Indian skin tone, which this one lacks. I'm going to swatch the shimmer and the matte shade out here, you guys. This was Makeup Mario. Let me now show Wet and Wild. So much more pigmented. Ooh, did you see the pigment? Wow, look at that swatch. And that is coming from a 7.99 rupees voila palette, okay? And let me just swatch the shimmer for you. Look at that that is beautiful almost similar to the makeup mario one it's a big hit for me please get this you won't be disappointed this is so so beautiful a definite hit okay moving on to skincare i picked up seba med care gel uh this is the clear face moisturizing complex with hyaluron as well as allantoin and panthenol and it's just supposed to smoothen your skin so if you've got acne prone skin you guys and you're looking out for a very good moisturizer that is gel based then try this one out the skin easily absorbs it the way that it just sucks it and it hydrates and it just leaves a nice soft finish to it this is a great day moisturizer that just hydrates it calms the skin down and i had to pick this one up so a big hit for me as well moving on to things i bought this is nika's all day matte foundation i have i think reviewed this last year i absolutely love it i took it to uk and i wanted to pick up another one i'm in the shade 08 i feel right now uh this would really match me i'm leaving for goa next week and i know once i'm back and i'm completely tanned i might need the shade right after this i feel that this is is a fab option a great budget friendly foundation that sits also very well for it not to oxidize too much try to take few drops of niacinamide serum i've explained it in my last makeup tutorial video just mix it up and then apply check out my last video just hit the i card out here i have gotten back into my modeling in my 40s and i wanted to show you the makeup that i did and take you behind the scenes not too drying as um you know because i know people with dry skin i know people with combination oily skin acne prone skin have all enjoyed this and they've done a very good job it's a very underrated foundation the next one is an expensive purchase this is glowish by huda beauty this is the blur balm this sold out everywhere in the uk it went viral because this is a blur primer that you apply before your foundation it does not have any silicone can you see how beautiful 
So it's got a nice jelly-like consistency. Very, very soft right here. And it just breaks down into a beautiful gel-like moisturizer. The skin absorbs it. So I wanted to give this one a shot and this is launched at Nykaa. This is kind of expensive, guys. I'll try to link out here how much I paid for it. I'll see it immediately mattified the skin after some time. Can you see? It just gives that very nice soft blur effect. Really good stuff. Now I want to show you the next stuff that I bought and that is NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This is my second purchase. I finished one in the UK. This is in the shade medium. Anyway, it's got this very soft, almost like a serum kind of a finish, but it's got great coverage. It's got a beautiful hydrating factor to it, so it doesn't dry out your skin. Let me put a little bit of it on top of this and show you. I'm an NC40 MAC reference. Oh, look at that. This is my correct match. This is like my skin tone in a bottle. And many a times when I cannot get my concealer online, I usually reach out for foundation and concealers that's got a bit of a neutral tone and that's only because it's the correct match. It's got the right amount of cool and warm to it. So this definitely is a big yes for me, you guys. Don't sleep on this concealer because it is beautiful. The next one I bought is from Love Child. I restocked on my favorite hokum because i have spoken about hokum in my best lipsticks that looks phenomenal with zero makeup video which all of you loved i think i should do a part two of that i spoke and i showed you hokum now hokum these lipsticks from masaba is a little drying you have to prep your lips a lot more but it's supremely pigmented and so comfortable so i'm just going to show you both the shades at the moment so that you can get a better understanding Oh my goodness, this brown still rocks. My current favorite brown is Irish Coffee. I have already swatched that in my best lipsticks for dark skin girls. Check out that video if you've missed it. And the reason I did not put this one in the mix is because I've spoken about this so much whole of last year. Like I said, there is that little drying quality to it. Nothing like if you don't prep and prime your lips, then this won't sit well. You have to make sure that you've got a really good prep situation happening on your lips. Make it smooth and then it'll sit better. But there's not a single person that I have recommended the shade and have not loved it. Hukum is a very brown skin friendly, but it's sexy and it's just the right brown shade. What a stunning shade, isn't it? So let me show you another shade that I picked up. So I picked up another one and this is called Rani. I saw Masaba wear this and I'm doing a best red lipstick video and I have applied this red lipstick, you guys. It is stunning. It's not the bright red. It's not a deep red. It's got hints of cool toned red and hints of something about this red is just phenomenal. Okay, it just looks so great. Let me just apply this and be right back. It's such a beautiful, beautiful red. I know that Masaba is a huge Fenty Beauty fan and this reminds me so much of the Stunner lip paint that Fenty Beauty has, which is Fenty's bestseller. So the shade is so similar to that, you guys. It's got that slight drying quality to it, like all her liquid mattes packaging. You know, you can see that tones of pink peeking through. So it's so flattering for our Indian skin tone, you know, on brown skin. And I just like the way my skin suddenly looks and feels alive. It just as if, you know, there's some life to my skin. And this on a dark skin tone, ooh, it's gonna be so good absolutely love it so yeah i'm so glad that i picked this one up so guys the next one is the nika i am bold kajal i purchased another one because nobody does a black long-lasting kajal like nika now that my eyes are super sensitive i have noticed that when i applied this it really burns but this is my mom's favorite kajal and no matter how many times look how creamy and black pigmented that is this really has a long lasting power I've spoken about this so many times it is great even if you want to apply your wing liner with this because it's got such a nice black yeah i love it but my mom loves it so i picked this one up for her and i probably 
will buy another one for myself now my next one that i got from nika it's called party girl what does this remind you of doesn't this remind you of carolina herrera's good girl same packaging what can i say for 799 rupees this is definitely carolina hariali you know because this is the basic version of carolina herrera and it's called party girl you open this like that Okay, this is a perfume and it smells divine. That's the best part. It reminds me so much of the good girl. It does. I won't say that this is the exact dupe, but this is a great alternative. It's called La French. <laughs> a big yes to this. So I think this will be a very lengthy video if I also include the hazard things that Nika has sent me via PR. So shall I make it a separate video, you guys, of the things that I got via Nika PR? You know, what they sent me. I think that will be an interesting video so that, you know. But right now, I'm just going to include one last thing that I bought. And this is Drama Queen Nika Matte Gloss Full Cover Lip Gloss. Now, I think this is their new launch. Uh, so it's got a nice semi-matte finish is what I noticed when I applied this. It's got a beautiful, nice pinky tone shade. I like the doe foot applicator high on its pigment. It reminds me of the Huda Beauty strobe, the lip gloss. It's really, really pigmented and it's comfortable. It's not high on its shine, but that's fine. You know, let me just apply this on top of this red. I actually really like this and it's comfortable. And what I noticed even when I applied it the first time, it's not exactly like that glossy high shine but it almost has that creamy pigmented so heavy on its pigment that you can just apply this on its own by itself and that's what i like about this lip gloss because of the pigmentation it's not tacky it's not sticky you know the shine suddenly disappears and it becomes a little more subdued it's a long lasting lipstick with a slight glossy tint to it maybe that's what it is supposed to be i haven't put it to a proper test before I just applied the color and then I removed it because there's so many lipsticks that they sent me. But this one is their matte lipstick. This is the all day matte. And I got it in the shade Teacher's Stripe. I just felt that this was a beautiful, vibrant pink. Oh baby, that is vibrant. Okay, it's got purple, lavender tones to it pink tones to it and um, so these are the lipsticks that I got with my money and the rest of them they sent and I think that will go on a, in a separate video so those are the things that I bought from Nika I hope you enjoyed this Nika haul you guys please stay tuned for my next Nika haul where I show you what all they have sent me via PR so we'll put this same thing to a test and I'll tell you exactly what to buy and what not to buy all right let's do this it's been a long time since I've done a haul and I think hauls are fun actually to watch until later i love you guys so much don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out my previous videos i love you very much see you when i see you bye